return to find that my father is finally doing something about the Coven threat. But it's not enough. Extra patrols and rounding up the Herald is all well and good. But what we really need is a defense against the Herald storms. Unfortunately, we've only recovered a few of the medallions. And Magister Fridelia hasn't determined what enchantment the medallions use to provide their protection. We need another solution. Right, Lyris mentioned that. Coincidentally, a courier delivered a message for you from Dusktown. I never heard of the place, but she said it was sent by someone named Fenorian. Is that your scholar? Read the message and let's see help us. Take the message from the table, then see if you can convince Fenorian to join us. Maybe with his help we can devise a defense against the storms. I'll stay here and continue to annoy my father until he gives this threat the attention it deserves. You forget that I have help now. My father might be able to ignore me, but he'll have a harder time dismissing a Jarl and the court mage. It's funny. I would have thought he'd be happy to see me finally take an interest in politics. I don't care about his approval, but I'd like to earn his respect. With Mother gone, we're both going harder to keep our kingdom running. It will be easier if we find a way to get along. Dusktown. I wonder what Fens found that led him back down there. Does his message give any indication of where we can find him? The settlement isn't big, but it's not exactly small either. Well, that's a start. You know, I never imagined I'd be working alongside a vampire, let alone one I respect. With all the leeches we've already had to kill, it's nice to see another sign. Fens... different. You go on ahead. I need to get my axe sharpened before I go back down into Blackreach. I'll catch up with you in Dusktown. Trust me. What do you want?
those new arrivals, they didn't stop in Dust Town, went straight for those dwarven ruins. I thought we were trying to keep this place a secret, and they sure didn't look like miners to me. Well? In here? Hmm. Let's look around. Fen never struck me as a messy person. Could there have been a struggle here? Burnt papers. Someone was trying to hide something. journal pages, Ben's flask, and a strange old key. All found among clear signs of a struggle. But other than what's in the flask, we didn't see any blood. That means Fen was probably taken alive. The key looks dwarven to me, and the notes mention a dwarven tower. They could be connected. The notes also indicate that Fen was going to meet with someone named Edyar, east of the Dust Town Bridge. You start there, and I'll check with the locals. We have no idea who Edyar is, or who took Fen for that matter. It could be this Ashen Lord we heard mentioned, or maybe the Ice Reach Coven. The question is, why take Fen at all? Why not just kill him? Does he have information they need? More than likely. If they want to get information out of him, death might be preferable to whatever tortures they have planned. Let's get to it. You find this Edyar, and I'll see if the locals saw what happened here. Sardoff, this is my patch of ground. You don't listen too well, do you? All right. Talk fast and tell me why I shouldn't rip out your throat. The silk shirt kept notes? Of course he did. But where is Venorian? He's late, and he still hasn't compensated me for the information I gave him. I need that key! Missing? Probably taken by the same bastard that has my packmates, Exart Zingalis. Fenorian said he could provide a key to unlock their chains. If I her scene's fetid breath, that's it! Look, I managed to escape from Zingalis's tower, but my packmates are still chained up in the lightless hollow. Use that key to set them free. Then I'll tell you how to find Fenorian. The lightless hollow lies to the east, and her scene's claws. Who is that tall woman? Stand down. I'm a friend. None of the locals really wanted to talk. One or two admitted to seeing Fen, but no one witnessed any kind of disturbance at his lodgings. At least, no one saw anything they were willing to tell me about. Is this Edyar? Does he know anything? Why is everything so complicated in this part of Skyrim? 
All right, so tell me, what did Fen agree to do for our half-naked friend over there? Packmates? Edyar is a werewolf? <laughs> this just keeps getting better and better. So I take it you know how you want to deal with this particular situation? Sint, why do you smell like Edyar? Edyar sent you. Then he made it. He's alive. That's... that's wonderful news. Exarch Singalis experimented on me. I blacked out. But they thought I was dead. They tossed me out of the tower. Barely managed to call to this spot. Still at the camp, to the north, Hamild, Mertilda, and Theven. Save them before Singalus <laughs> finishes them off. Just come back.
as fast as I can, you blood-sucking bastards! Her seems close. I thought I'd be digging forever. Thanks. Me free? I owe you one. Thank you, stranger. We should not linger, Edya. The Grey Host could find us at any moment. Head to the surface. I need to fulfill my end of our bargain. did it. You freed my pack. Now it's my turn. If Exarch Zingalis took Fenorian, and I'm pretty sure he did, you'll find them both in the ruined Dwarven Tower. It's difficult to get inside if you're not a vampire, but I know a way. Like I said, Zingalis' helper made a mistake. Forgot to fasten my chains after one of my tortures. I slipped away crawled along some pipes, and fell into a chamber with one of those dwarven lifts. There was also a door, the one behind me. It'll get you close. There's a big door that leads into Singalis's lair, but it's sealed. You need to figure out the dwarven mechanism to open it. Then make your way to the experimentation chamber. That's probably where he's keeping Fenorian. The door's over here. Hurry, before they spot us.
definitely dwarven. Watch out for traps. That must be the door Edyar mentioned. So tight. No lock. Not even a hand. I don't suppose the werewolf told you how to open it, did he? The panels are all different. I wonder what they mean. started moving. You must be doing something right. Something turned off. Keep going. the door. This chamber's been used recently. Let's look around. Why does everything connected to vampires involve blood? be the nether root mentioned in the that was Fen. We need to keep moving. It fights against its nature, Raxaran. A weaker breed. Smell! It's overpowering! <coughs> We need to shut down those machines! That's poison! Why are they spraying it on those plants? The mist from that spray... More of that nether root. That didn't help. We need to be on the right track.
going. going. Now we can cross the chamber. Shores bones, that stone husk is moving.
a shame he could not be recruited to our noble cause. The machine will finish him momentarily. Finish your work here, Singalis. Then join me in the keep. You must bear witness with the Singalis. Of course, Radha Kalsara. I am eager to see the power of the ultimate battle storm. Some sort of assault on Solitude. A massive hero storm. I need blood. But I won't drink from an unwilling person. In this state, even with a willing participant, I don't trust my restraint. If I only had my flask. My flask. Thank you, my friend. Radha al Saran is the one they call the Ashen Lord, leader of the Grey Host. He and Singalis often went into the nearby sanctum to talk. I heard a few words. Map. Plan. But I couldn't make out the rest. Yes. Yes. Once I take a long drink from my flask, I'll join you. Singalis was insane, but he was also a genius. If he kept records, they'll be in here. I see a map and some papers. Hey, partner. So, partner, what did you find? We set out to find Fen and bring him back to Solitude. Along the way, we learned more about our true enemy, killed one of their leaders, and acquired some valuable intelligence. That's a victory in my book. Not that I can think of. I'll make sure that Fen makes it to the Blue Palace. We'll meet you there. And don't forget that map and communique. Come on, Fen. 
Princess Vanna herself requested your presence at the Blue Palace. I don't believe I'm very good company right now. Come on, Finn. We'll help you through this. Another day, another infernal harrow storm. I have a unique opportunity for collapse. You are welcome here, Fenorian of House Ravenwatch. I... By all the need and Southern Guard, it's good to see you and the others. Your vampire scholar seems... out of sorts, but I'm glad to make his acquaintance. Lyris tells me you ran into a bit of trouble. Care to explain? And I can't wait to hear all the details. In the meantime, let's take a look at what you found and try to devise a plan. Lyris didn't say much. But she indicated that time is short. Here, take this. You deserve a lot more, but it's all I can spare. The information you brought back from Blackreach might give us a fighting chance. Let's put our heads together and figure out how to use what you learned. My father be damned! My father won't act, so I will! 